The House approved a $1 trillion infrastructure package. It's one that lawmakers say would create jobs and improve broadband, water supply, and public works. Eyewitness News Anna Wernicke tonight with the latest from Washington. Finally, Infrastructure Week. President Joe Biden took the podium Saturday morning beaming. I'm so happy to say that. The president praised the House for passing his $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill late Friday night. A bipartisan infrastructure bill. A once-in-a-generation investment that's going to create millions of jobs modernize their infrastructure. And the bill was bipartisan. 13 Republicans voted for the bill and six progressive Democrats voted against the measure because they wanted a social spending bill passed with it. The motion is adopted. New York Republican Congressman John Katko said he voted yes because the bill, quote, includes responsible measures to pay for its spending and has been projected to spur significant economic growth. So disappointed in 13 of our colleagues that just enabled it. Florida Republican Congressman Mike Waltz told Republicans in Las Vegas that his party now needs to focus on blocking the rest of the president's Build Back Better plan. The first thing we have to do is to stop this massive socialist spending bill. We're just getting started. The president says he's confident Congress will pass the nearly $2 trillion social spending bill when they return from recess on November 15th. From the Washington Newsroom, Anna Warnicke, Eyewitness News.